Good morning. Good morning, vlog. Um, we're at the vet right now because Juice has been up for the past four, four nights. nights now. He does not go to the bathroom like in the middle of the night, like ever. Um, and he's been up pooping four times throughout the night, like. So he has something going on. We have poop in a bag, <laughs> and we're gonna figure out what is going on with him. It is Saturday. Oh, it's okay. Shh, shh, shh. It's 9 a.m. We're here. I know. You see all the puppies. You're excited. We're gonna vlog the day. So we're starting off with the vet. Hopefully everything's okay, and we will keep you updated. And see you. In okay, the bye. Next clip. Come here, baby. You smell all the doggies. He's 47.7 pounds now. Ah, uh, excuse you. So we don't know the issue yet. Uh, we sent his poo poo in to the lab. We'll find out Monday if he has stuff going on. But there's multiple things that we think it could be. So they gave us dewormer. They gave us. I, uh, it's like new, GI food to help with like, his digestion. Literally chicken and rice in a can. So apparently, like German Shepherds. And we don't know. Maybe he's a Malinois. We have. We don't know what he is, but the two uh, breeds that we think he could be mixed with both have um, sometimes like GI issues, so it could be that, or it could be the worms, or so it could might, be... Juice might be going on a strict meal plan soon. We might have to be meal prepping for Juice! Um, but yeah, so that is that. We're gonna give him... What else did we get? We got something else. Other than that, it was good. He's still a happy puppy, he and that's all that matters. He is overly happy. Bubba. You're over He's literally, happy. I, I'm not just trying to brag, but he's like a celebrity at our, uh, at, at our, our vet. At like, our vet, they love him. Last time we brought him, well, we were here so much when we first got him because he had a bunch of issues and we had to get all his shots and stuff. So we were here all the time and he was a hot commodity. For the one time I think I took him, I think it was when I was by myself. They took him in the back and they were like, sorry, we took so long. Everyone was taking pictures of him. That was when you were little. But yeah, so they're so nice there. We go to Urban Vet Care yeah. um, in Denver-ish, and it, they're nope, so it's nice. it's definitely in Denver. In Denver. Not well, ish. it's not like downtown, that's why I feel oh. weird. They're really nice. We've had really great experiences with them, and yeah, so that's that. We're actually heading to Denny's now. I placed a little order to go, so we're gonna go pick it up. We used to eat it all the time, and it's honestly a really good option when you're dieting what I got and that is kind of it for now. Take Juice home, Boom. feed him his new food, and that is it. Bye! Joe Rogan tonight. We're going to Joe Rogan tonight. Yeah, yeah! Bye! Okay, so what I always get is buttermilk pancakes. I do the build your own stack, so I do buttermilk pancakes. These little containers are actually pretty nifty. Um, two servings of egg whites and then a serving of turkey bacon. She could pick four items. Anthony... <laughs> It's getting after it this morning. It's getting after it. We, our order was 40 minutes later than it was supposed to be. We literally ordered when we left the vet. 9.30. Now, probably 10.30. It's 10.30. I literally just got food two minutes. It took 40 minutes later than this. Anyways, we're gonna eat this now, and I will catch up with you guys in the next clip. I really don't know what today's gonna be, besides we have Joe Rogan later, but yeah. Okay, so I'm just waking up some lunch now. I'm doing egg whites. <laughs> coconut rice and some soy sauce making kind of my fried rice thing i'm making this low fat average carb meal because we're going out tonight obviously i said it three times now to see joe rogan but i don't know what the plan is if we're going to get food if there's going to be drinks all of that so i do kind of want to have a more conservative lunch high protein all of that just to kind of make sure that i am leaving enough for whatever I do later. So that is it for now. And I will see you guys in the next one. Okay, what's up? So fourth time, we're going to do a Rogan tonight. So I wanted to get ready and I wanted to just do a little like get ready with me, but not really because it's just gonna be thrown in this vlog. But I did end up buying the Kylie 22 birthday collection. Um, I bought like the Kylie Favorites bundle, and then I also bought the Shimmering Body Powder or something. Um, but anyway, so I wanted to kind of use this because I did get a few requests to review it and kind of give my thoughts on it. So I wanted to use um, a few things from it, whatever I'm going to be using for this look. I already did uh, my foundation and my bronzer and powder and all of that, but 
I didn't do highlighter because I do have a jelly highlighter and this is in pink paper. So this is a pink highlighter, but it's it's really pretty and it's like really liquidy. So I just use my finger to apply it. If you guys can see that. Um, so I'm just gonna use my finger to apply it. It's not my favorite favorite thing in the world, but I do like it still. So I'm just gonna use it for the sake of using the products in this video. I got the eyeshadow palette, it's really pretty. I really like the pinks. I'm really into pink lately with eyeshadow. I don't know why, but so I'll probably do a more like pinkish look. Then I do have a lip kit. It's the Kylie um, Velvet Lip, I believe. And then I'm probably not going to use this shimmer eye glaze. This is in Dime Piece. So let me see, I can't even remember. Yeah, so this is like a really bright gold but I don't think I'm gonna be using it in this video. Maybe I will, but we'll see. So that's kind of it. I just wanna show you guys the products and then I'm gonna be using the Jeffree Star Morphe collab brushes to do the eye look. So this is the loose illuminating powder that I was talking about from Kylie. It's just like, it's like a tinted powder. It's like a little bit brown and it's shimmery. So I'm gonna be using that kind of like on my chest, just give myself a little shimmer. But that's kind of it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do this. Um, I probably, you probably won't be able to see too well of like what I'm doing. So hopefully this video is helpful in any way, shape or form. But you guys like to see makeup tutorials, which makes me really, really happy. I think I'm just gonna, like I said, do a more like pinky look. So we'll see how this goes. I do like this palette. I've used it before. Um, I like it. It's not like my favorite thing in the world, but it is a really good palette. It's just not the, well, it does kind of have some neutrals in there, like the brown tones. For the most part, this is not going to be the best for like someone who just wants a neutral palette, but the greens and the pinks are definitely fun. I've just been really liking pink shadow. I really don't know why, but we're going to go for it. So I'm just going to use the JS8 and I'm going to do pretty much what I normally do with these looks. I'm going to do like build it up darker in the corner, probably have a shimmer shade. Maybe I'll use the dime piece uh, glitter stuff and that's that. So I'm going to use work for it, the lightest pink color. And luckily this has a mirror on it. Love. So I'm just going to be able to do it right here. I'm sitting in my bedroom, not my bathroom because the lighting in there is not the best. I'm just going to take this and put this kind of all over the lid. Honestly, I already did put a really light shade down on the lid just to kind of prime it. Um, but I'm just going to be adding this kind of all over, sort of focusing it mostly in the crease area, but also bringing it upwards. We kind of can be sloppy with this. And now I'm just going to kind of build it up. So I'm going to take on a budget, which is this one right here. It's only a little bit darker than the one I just used. But we're going to kind of do the same thing. Focus it a little bit more in the crease and on the outer corner. Not really bringing this one everywhere. Kind of focusing it more on the out. And just dragging it in to blend. I don't know why I really like pink shadow lately, but I do. It's really, really random for me. I am not like a really pink person. But for some reason, I've been really liking pink shadow come on in <laughs> welcome to the beauty guru lounge so i'm gonna take long money which is this like darker pink shade i'm gonna focus this one mostly on the outer corner because this is where we're gonna start getting a little bit darker and we want to keep it focused on the outer corner and i've actually just been using this same brush because i am building up the color so it's not like affecting it to just keep adding color onto it that's just what i do for majority of the time i just use the same brush as long as i'm building up from light to dark I keep using the same brush. This is gonna be the JS6. It's a little bit smaller and I'm gonna focus this strictly on the outer corner and kind of just like packing it on, not doing so much of like a dragging motion because we really want to keep it in the outer corner. And this isn't like the most pigmented shade in the world. So it looks a little bit scary in the pan, but it's really not applying like that dark. I want to say that's like good enough for the shadow then I am gonna do a little cut crease moment because it's like all I do every time um, but I do want to add some shimmer on the lid so I am gonna go grab my concealer and just cut that out a little bit just to lay a nice little base down for the shimmer to go on I'm going to use the JS 10 so it's this pretty small, stiff brush. Just gonna throw some concealer on and cut out. Now I have the crease cut and I think I'm not gonna use the gold because I really don't wanna do like gold, 
like a dark gold in my eye look today. So I think what I'm gonna do is take time as money. That's this top color right there. I'm gonna use the same brush with concealer still left on it. So it's a little bit like damp and hopefully it sticks. Okay, I'm gonna throw some of that up in the brow bone. And in the inner corner. I always get concealer up on the top part so I usually just take a brush and just kind of blend it out and it's kind of just makes everything like seamlessly look smooth and not like so rigid which I kind of like when it's like blown out and all smooth. Maybe I'll do a little bit of like a pink like a dark pink to kind of blend the light pink and then the corner. So uh, let's do 22 candles in the bottom corner. I'm gonna take this same brush. Is that this? Did I? No, that's not the brush. So I'm gonna take the same brush and dip into that. Oh, so this is more of like a glitter rather than a shimmer. But it is still kind of connecting the two nicely. And then after this, I'm gonna go in and blend again with Breaking Records, the darkest shade, and just mesh everything together. I'm all about like blending like crazy because I just like everything to kind of like seamlessly blend. There is a little bit of fallout in here too. So here is the eye look so far. I'm gonna add liner and mascara. If you guys have seen videos before, you know I use Sephora brand liquid liner. I did not get the Kai liner that she had in this bundle, but I'm pretty sure it has the tip that I like, so I probably should have got it to try out. But I'm just gonna apply this quickly and be right back. This is the Tarte Man Eater Mascara. I don't know if this only comes in the Whitney Simmons collab with Tarte or if it's a Tarte separate piece as well. But this has been my favorite uh, mascara since I've tried it. Honestly, I tried it and I haven't used any other mascara since. So I do really like this one. So this kind of stresses me out. But basically, I just stick my finger in and then just like lightly dab and i just try not to like rub it in but like just like blot it until it's blended um and then i'll probably go in again with like my bronzer and just kind of like make it more seamless so there's stuff in the cap already so i'm probably just gonna dip my finger in the cap because i don't i really don't like to use too much so i'm just gonna dip my finger in and then just dab it on my face so as you can see it is on there but now we're just gonna it's not the most like seamless thing in the world so i'm gonna add a little bit to my nose i can't even like tell what that really looks like i don't know why i'm doing this on my bed i'm making so, such a mess um but now i'm going to do the kylie lip kit that came with this so it is just kylie is the name of it still pretty barbie-ish so i don't know i don't really know what i'm gonna do i might change the lip i might not but overall the look i'm pretty happy with all right so i ended up just taking off the lip color and just putting on a lip balm for now so we look a little juicy but this is it i ended up adding the shimmer stuff to my chest and like my bronzer area but i don't think you can really see it at all so i don't really know how much it shows up but other than that i think that's it think we're good and ready. I probably will throw um, Stila Cosmetics Caramello on my lips when I leave. That's my favorite lip. Or I might just leave it like this. I'm not really sure. So that's kind of it for getting ready. We are dressed. Um, so this top is from Taylor. It's a hand-me-down. Kind of like a wrap top. And it does have a string to tie. And I think the tie is supposed to go in the front, but I put it in the back instead. The necklace is from Pretty Little Thing. It's just like this dangly the shorts are Abercrombie and the belt is freaking Louis Vuitton. Anthony got it for me for my birthday. Then the shoes are super old from I think like Payless or something. But I wanted to go with a more like not fancy um, heel because I feel like up here is like a little bit done up and I didn't want to be like over the top. So that is going to be my outfit for the night. I don't really know um, what to expect. I've never gone to like a comedy show. So we don't really know. I'm probably overdressed, but that is it. Uh, Diet Coke. What else for you? Uh, I also need a number seven. A little pre-going out 
dinner. We're getting Chick-fil-A. So looks like we're not going like out to eat. So this is gonna be my dinner for the night. I have like 40 something grams of fat left. So I did get fries with my meal. I just got the grilled chicken nuggets with some fries. So that is gonna be my dinner. I don't know, maybe I'll have like one drink tonight, but it's not, it's not gonna be crazy for me. You guys know, I'm not the biggest drinker. So we have grilled nuggets and it's some fries. I felt overdressed, so I changed into this tea from Misguided. And that is it. Honestly, I didn't know what to expect. I didn't want to be too crazy dressy, so still kind of done up, but with a t-shirt. That is it, we are leaving soon. I'm gonna try to film, I guess, some of it. I'll probably just bring my phone in. I don't think I'm probably, I can't bring my camera in probably, right? That would be fine. Yeah, I'll try to film with my phone. You can't film John Rogan, are you crazy? I know, I'm gonna get in trouble. But I will try to film a little bit of it and I will see you guys later. take my advice because I don't even take it most of the time and I'm a legitimate moron I try to tell people I'm a moron they go oh you're just being funny no no I remember shit all right guys so that is actually it for the video it's now the next day it is Sunday and we just filmed our finished house tour so that will be up within a week um, I have that video and then we tried the top five coffee shops in Denver so that is also coming up but to close out the video, I wanted to try the Orange 3D. I got these yesterday and I haven't tried them yet. So we're gonna see how they are. I want Anthony to try as well because he loves orange. He's one of those that Orange Gatorade is- one of those. Orange Gatorade is his favorite. It's the best Gatorade. Ah, no. So I feel like he'll like it. it smells just like orange soda. That's good. I'm kind of confused. That's the best one so far. That is orange soda. No joke. But it's not like super, super orangey. Syrupy. Yeah, it's like. I think purple. Mm. Purple might be my favorite still. I like purple. Oh. I love red. No, 3D. That's a. You guys nailed that. And me. That's. Approves. So if you like orange and you like orange soda, highly recommend. But that is it for the video, guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. And comment below anything you want to see in the future. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Guys.